In the ever-evolving realm of finance, being ahead of the curve isn't just an advantage. It is the key to financial success. Following the recent FOMC meeting in November, there is a buzz in the air. Indications suggest the interest rate might be at its peak. The market is forecasting that there will be a potential 100 basis point decrease in the Fed fund rate next year. In today's video, we are diving deep into what is the best asset class to look into in order to respond to the impending interest rate cut. As the financial landscape involves, it is essential to re-evaluate your portfolio and position yourselves for success. The asset class I'm going to share later has historical show robust performance during the interest rates cut. So buckle up, because we are about to uncover the investment strategies that could make all the difference in your portfolio. Hello everyone, welcome back to SDA Club, the club for stocks trading and analysis. This channel is dedicated to provide you with high quality tutorial, guides and insights that demystify the world of trading. To stay updated, hit the subscribe button now. By subscribing, you are opening the door to a world of trading and maximize your potential for success. Before we dive in, here is a quick disclaimer. The information in this video is for education purpose only. It is not a buy or sell call. If you think that the interest rate is very close to its peak, bond is something you need to pay attention to. It is unsung hero of stabilities and diversifications. Here's why we should turn our attention to bond when interest rates are at its peak. Number one, anticipate decrease in interest rates. Bond tend to perform well in the falling interest rate environments. When rate decrease, the price of bond will rise, potentially leading to capital appreciations for bondholders. Imagine you have a bond that pay you a fixed amount of interest rate over time. Now, if new bond being issued by the government or company offer lower interest rate than yours, suddenly your bond become more valuable because it pay a higher rate. People who want to buy bonds from you are willing to pay a higher price because of your bond promise more money compared to the new ones. This increase in the price of your bond is what we call capital appreciation. So when interest rate drop, the price of existing bond goes up and bondholders can make a nice profit if they decide to sell their bond. Besides that, bond can diversify your portfolio. As the saying goes, don't put all your egg in one basket. Bonds serve as a crucial element in diversifying your investment portfolio. By spreading your asset across different classes, you reduce the risk associated with a single investment, fostering a more resilient financial profile. Bonds are like a special basket that moves to its own realm, different from the basket holding stocks and other investments. When things get a bit crazy in the stocks market, the bond basket doesn't get too affected. The core relationship between bond and other assets tend to be lower. This lower core relationship that means the performance of bond does not really affect by the movement of other asset class such as stocks, providing a degree of independence that can be advantageous in a volatile market. In this graph, you can see that the core relationship between S&P 500 and the stocks. Most of the time, stocks and the bond will always have negative core relationships. Number three, stability during recessions and market downturns. In our last video, we talked about why recessions might be on the horizon. During tough times like recessions, people often ask, what should I do with my money? Well, one solution is bond. When the economy is on a downward spin, bond will still stay pretty steady because bond will pay you regular interest payments no matter what happens in the economy. So when everything else in the market seems to be a bit shaky, Bond can be your reliable safety net. They might not give you the trail of the stock market, but they sure provide you a sense of security during the challenging twist and turn of a recession. The current landscape suggests that the interest rates are about to peak. In such time, bonds, especially long-term treasury bonds, emerge as an appealing avenue for potential capital growth. Long-term bonds can experience capital appreciations when interest rates fall. The bond value will increase and provide a potential capital gain if you sell before maturities. This shift draw our attention to the iShares 20 years treasury bond ETF, which we call it TLT. This ETF designed to mirror the US Treasury 20 plus years bond index. TLT offers investors exposure to a diversified collection of long-term US Treasury bonds. In simple terms, TLT provides investors with exposure to a 
basket of long-term U.S. Treasury bonds. Furthermore, the reason we look at TLT is because U.S. Treasury bonds are considered one of the safest investments due to the backing of U.S. government. Their low-risk profile is reinforced by the fact that the U.S. has no default on its debt since 1971, contributing to its reputation as a reliable and secure investment option. Investors often turn to treasury bonds for stabilities and a guarantee returns on investments. It is a testament to the trust placed in the US government's ability to meet its financial obligations. So let us look at the price chart of TLT. We can see that TLT has dropped more than 50% from its peak since 2020. Actually, I think the drop is predictable as we know the US fund is going to decrease the Fed fund rate in 2022. The price was affected by the expectations about future interest rate changes in 2022. And now we believe that the interest rate is almost at its peak. Thus, right now is the time for us to pay attention to TLT. The price of 82 will be the key level which is an all-time low since 2007. If you would like to add TLT to your portfolio, you may follow closely and wait for the price. Before adding TLT to your portfolio, I think you will need to know two risks when buying long-term bonds or bond ETF. Bond ETF price will go down or not perform well when interest rates go up to unexpected rates. For example, if the Fed fund rate goes up to 5% or more, the price of the bond ETF will continue to go down because when interest rate go up, the price of bond will definitely go down. And why versa, when the interest rate go down, the price of bond will always go up. The second risk will be if the interest rate remain at high level for an extended period of time, the price of bond ETF will not perform well because the price of bond is solely rely on the interest rate policy. If the interest rate remain at a high level, the price of TLT will not be performing also. After understanding the two risks of investing in TLT, I think we need to build a strong investment strategy and know your goal if you want to invest on TLT. First, you need to know your time frame for this investment. The main reason for buying TLT is for long-term investments for one year or more to anticipate an interest rate to drop. The interest rate may remain at a high level for a long period, but it will definitely go down. As US will not be able to maintain the high interest rate for long, it is just a matter of time, but it could be one month, three months, six months, or even more than one year. So be prepared to hold for a longer period if you decide to invest in TLT. Second, the payout of dividends payments for TLT will be lesser than the actual treasury bonds and there will be expense ratios for the TLT ETF. That definitely would affect the return. So be aware when you want to invest on TLT. So after this video, I hope you will have a clear picture on the opportunity and risk that lie ahead from TLT. TLT typically perform well when interest rates are falling or expected to decrease because bond price rise in such scenario. Conversely, if interest rates remain high or continue to increase, TLT performance might suffer as bond price decline. TLT performance may heavily rely on interest rate movement. However, to find the best investment that suits you, you need to consider market condition, diversifications, your risk tolerance, and proper financial research. So it will be the end of the video. If you like this video and think this video has been very helpful to you, smash the like button and subscribe to our channel so that you will not miss out our latest video in the futures. Comment below for any topic you want to learn. Thank you for the like and share. See you in next video.